everybody <laughs> welcome back you're back how come you're back I don't know you want to watch and I'm glad you're here to watch I am Moose the Gimp you're watching the Gimp Show and we're back for another spectacular world famous review of Meals on Wheels <laughs> All right, Meals on Wheels. I'll move these drinks out of the way. Get to those in a second. Meals on Wheels. I mean, you know you know what they are, right? They're uh, meals for folks who, uh, you know, who are handicapped or elderly. They uh, have trouble making food for themselves. So uh, the deal is it's uh, five days a week, Monday through Friday. Uh, it does cost uh, $7 a day where I live. Which is fine. I'm cool with that. So, but, um, hey, uh, without much further ado, let's just get into the food. I mean, I'm here for the food. You're here for the food. So, let's just get to it, right? Like, you don't want to hear me talk. So, uh, I do have a, uh, a, ha a Sprite from, from Bought From Home. And, uh, you get a, uh, and along with your hot meal and a cold snack, which is usually half of a sandwich. You get a uh, carton of milk. Sometimes you get a uh, uh, a uh, uh, like a juice box. You know, kind of the, the deals you used to get in grade school. But hey, you know, I love Meals on Wheels. I'm gonna tell you this why. What I love about Meals on Wheels is I had a pretty pretty rough day today. I had therapy. Uh, physical therapy on my knee replacement and um, I got news a couple of days ago about uh, getting glaucoma in one of my eyes I mean I was at the doctors literally you know maybe 10 hours just over the course of two to three days making calls going to the appointment and driving there and uh, it makes me you know, it gives me comfort to know that I have at least, you know, a meal at home that I don't have to take care of or someone in my family doesn't have to have to take care of and make for me. So, you know, in that respect, Meals on Wheels, as good and bad as it can be, is a lifesaver for me. So... Uh, I'll leave it at that. You can decide for yourself if you if you uh, want to do this. But here's my uh, one percent milk carton, and uh, as always, say save the straw. So today, let me move this over. Like I said, you got a cold snack. That's what they call it, a cold snack, which is usually a half of a sandwich and some uh, like a can, you know, can peaches or pear or something like that. Uh, you also get a, a, a side dish, which is usually cold. And today, I will uh, take the, the fresh wrapping off. This was delivered several hours ago, so I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and then and microwave the hot meal so it's, it's still fresh. Let me move this over here. <laughs> so today we have... Oh, this is not bad. We have... Uh, a uh, fresh salad mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't look it looks it looks like spinach but it's not it's um I've had this before it's some sort of green I'm not sure what it is but uh, they also give you a sign of dressing with it buried underneath here oh today is Italian oh nice okay so we'll we'll, uh, we'll dig into that. And then today we have a fruit, which is watermelon and pineapple, and I think some mango. And we also have a, uh, a nice uh, dry roll, which I actually like, and a pat of butter. Uh, I like both of those. Can't tell you why, it's just, you know, it is what it is. I love it. So we'll, uh, we'll stick this over here for, for, for a moment. And then on the hot meal, oh, let's uh, let's wait for that. Uh, so today, let's uh, let's open the open the dressing and see what it uh, what the Italian dressing tastes like. Yeah, Italian. <laughs> we'll see what it tastes like. Hmm. 
Hey, I am Moose the Gimp, so uh, sometimes these are hard to open. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll try that. And um, and then we have our roll. Uh, let's see here. I hope everybody, uh, you know, had a good week. You know, being a gimp is not, it's not easy, you know. Um, they say, uh, they, the people contact me, uh, and they say, why do you call yourself a gimp? You know, that's like a derogatory term. Well, not for me, and not in my life. I'm trying to take that word back. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, to me, it's a, uh, it's a very, um, uh, uh, congratulatory term, almost. It's like, uh, you know, it's a lifestyle that you live, you know. And uh, any age, any anyone can be, again, you can be 50 and just have, you know, an injury from like a ski accident or, you know, breaking your elbow playing tennis, something like that. Um, and, you're, and you're laid up for, for a couple weeks. Well, hey, you can be a gimp because there's things that you can't do, right? You can't lift a, a milk bottle. Uh, it might be hard to drive your car, steer your wheel, you know, if you have a broken elbow. Uh, so, I've always used uh, the, the term GIMP as a, uh, as a, as a uh, congratulatory or a favorable term, so to speak. Because, um, you know, sometimes we're not feeling good, right? You don't have to be handicapped like me with with uh, severe uh, disease for 35 plus years and have tremendous joint damage to be a gimp. You can be someone who just, you know, uh, uh, you know, fell on their driveway and, and has a broken leg and they're laid up for a couple of days. I'm going to try to teach you the tactics through this channel of how to deal with all that stuff. And it's it's easier than it sounds. And all you need is encouragement and help along the way. And that's what I'm here to provide for you. So, so today, uh, let's see. Um, this is a roll with butter. Mm. Always love that. Mm -hmm. It's always nice, airy, fluffy. Sometimes it's uh, rye. It can be wheat. It can be white. It's all good. The milk is good. It's nice and cold. It usually drives, uh, it rhymes, um, frozen. And just stick it in the, in the refrigerator for a couple hours and it, uh, it defrosts. So let's try the salad for today. And like I said, it looks like spinach, but it's not. Uh, let's just see. Mm -hmm. I like the dressing. It's it's nice Italian dressing. It tastes good. The greens are nice and light and uh, and fresh. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. That's great. It's a great salad. So let's uh, let's go on to the main event today. We have. Turkey Tetrazzini. Oh. Now, I I must admit, I am not a super fan of of uh, Tetrazzini. I don't know why. Usually because it's associated with tuna Tetrazzini, which I really do not like. But uh, turkey might be might be different. It usually comes in a, uh, like, a cream sauce. And that's what this is. is these are... Uh, Pretty big, pretty big healthy chunks of turkey. That's pretty big. That's like, you know, an inch, inch around. And it has, uh, uh, like noodles with it. Can you see that? Yeah. Has, uh, noodles. That's what Tetrazzini is. And like a mushroom, 
celery cream sauce. And on this side, we have, um, uh, we have uh, steamed broccoli on the side here. So that's not bad, too. Let's just try it. Let's just dig in. That's what we're all about, right? You're all about the food. I'm about the food. And let's just try it. Turkey tetrazzini. Meals on wheels. Let's, let's dig in. Need salt? Mm. For sure. Salad does too, actually. <laughs> I mean, tetrazzini is not a very difficult thing to make, but getting it to someone, uh, you know, an hour or two after you've made it, that changes the whole deal, right? So this is noodles uh, and tossed in turkey chunks in a uh, sauce made of cream and mushrooms and celery, and this was done you know, several hours ago. I'm going to cut these noodles because I think they're going to be a little bit too hard to eat. But let's just see. <laughs> they are a little bit dry. Um, you know, I'll, I'll say that. They're, they, look, they look a little bit dry. So let's just taste them. See what they taste like. Hey, it's not bad. It's, it's noodles with turkey and sauce. And uh, let's just give the uh, the broccoli a taste real quick. Hmm. I mean, I can't complain. That's not bad. I mean, it's meals on wheels. You know, I mean, the food is delivered to me by a, a very happy volunteer every day, five days a week, Monday through Friday. I have the fruit here on the side. I mean, I'm assuming you know what that would taste like. It's fresh. It's nice and cold. I'll taste it for you just in case you have a question about it. <laughs> It was watermelon. I mean, it still tastes fresh. Tastes like it has some lemon juice on it, which is great. <laughs> Here's my milk and the Sprite. So, overall, I mean, I can't complain. Great stuff. Uh, again, thank you to Meals on Wheels for being there being the option that uh, people uh, who are in need have some help uh, contact your local Meals on Wheels distributor. I'm not getting paid for this, believe me. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm not endorsing anything per se. All I'm telling you is I like what I had tonight. Turkey tetrazzini, steamed broccoli, salad, and uh, fruit, milk, and a half of a turkey sandwich with some fruit with it. I mean, seven bucks delivered to your house, pretty good. And you get the friendship and the uh, smiley face of a happy volunteer. So that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching Moose the Gimp. I am Moose the Gimp. And uh, hey, we'll see you next time, all right? Next time on, you know, Meals on Wheels reviews or whatever. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.